Hello? I see you through my glasses. Can you put on a pair of glasses? Hmm, let's put them down. Hmm, I got a book. Put your hands together. You can make a book too. And then we can open it. Oh my goodness, there's a pink snake in there. Shut that book. Let's go again, okay? Open it slow. Oh my goodness, there's a purple dinosaur. Shut that book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Last time. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Nice job. All right, preschoolers, let's take a look at our book. What do you see? I spy a bunch of kids. I spy a bunch of kids, and guess what? All of these kiddos have a different color of skin. They all have a different shade of skin. Let's get out our reading finger and read the title of our book. Here we go. All the colors we are. The story of how we get our skin color. Huh. Let's look over here. It says written by, so we know that the person who wrote the words, they are the, the author. Let's read their name. Katie Kissinger. And then this says photographs by, so the illustrator. In this book, all of our illustrations are pictures. They took pictures. Let's read their name. Chris Bahoff. Let's open up our book. Ooh, here's our title page. One more time with reading finger, okay? All the colors we are. The story of how we get our skin color. Turn that page. People have many different colors of skin. Even though we often say the words, he is black or she is white, all of us have skin that is a different shade of brown. Turn that page. What color is your skin? What name would you like to give the color of your skin? So you can look here. Which one do you think matches your skin color? Let's look at my hand. Hmm. My hand is maybe close to this color, this shade of brown. Can you see it? How do you think we get our own special color of skin? Can you make a guess? What's your guess? Hmm, those are good guesses. Let's turn that page. We get our skin color three different ways. From our birth parents, from our relatives who lived long time ago called ancestors, Turn that page and from the sun. And something called melanin. Turn that page. Melanin is tiny grains of coloring in our skin. We can't see the tiny melanin grains, but we all have melanin in our skin. If you have dark skin, 
the melanin in your body is very active and you probably have a lot more of it. If you have light skin, the melanin in your body is not very busy. So look at this kiddo has dark skin. So the melanin in their skin is very active. <gasps> but look at, we said that this child, since they have light skin, the melanin in their body isn't very busy. Turn that page. Freckles are spots on the skin that have a lot of melanin. <gasps> Do you see the freckles? See the freckles on this kiddo? Lots of melanin there. <gasps> Miss Bethany has freckles. Can you see the freckles on my nose? These are all these darker brown spots. These are freckles. I have lots of melanin here. No matter what color we are, our skin gets darker in the sun. The more we are in the sun, the darker our skin will get. So, preschoolers, I want you to take a look at your skin. Do you have freckles anywhere? Remember, freckles are a place where you have lots of melanin. Turn that page. Melanin's most important job is to protect our skin from sunburn. So remember, it's getting close to summertime, so our grown-ups are helping us keep our bodies safe by putting sunscreen on us. Turn that page. How does that happen? When we go outside, the sunshine and the air cause the melanin in our skin to get busy and keep our skin, sun, keep our skin from burning. If we go out into the sun a little bit at a time, we will build up enough melanin to protect our skin. So look at these kiddos. These kiddos are all at the pool. They're at the pool playing. So the melanin in our skin turns our skin a little bit darker in the sun and it's to protect us. Turn that page. If your ancestors from a long time ago lived in a place where there was a lot of sunshine and heat, they probably had dark skin. Turn that page. If they lived in a place with less sun and heat, they probably had light skin. When both parents, both your birth parents, have light skin, they usually have a child who has light skin. Turn that page. If both birth parents have dark skin, they usually have a child who also has dark skin. When one birth parent has light skin and another birth parent has dark skin, their child's skin may be light, dark, or in between. Turn that page. The skin color we are born with comes from our birth parents and from where our ancestors lived a long time ago. Do you think your ancestors came from a very warm, sunny place or a cool place with less sunshine? So you can ask your grown-up, where did your ancestors come from? Turn that page. Dark skin, light skin, and skin with freckles are all caused by our birth parents, ancestors, the sun, and melanin. Skin color is one of the many ways people are special and different from each other. Turn that page. <gasps> Preschoolers, that's the end of our book. Thank you so much for reading. So I want you to look at your skin, look at your skin, and I want you to talk about what color skin do you have? What color is your skin? What color is your grown-up skin? Does your grown-up have the same color skin? Do they have different color skin? All kinds of skin, all colors of skin are beautiful, aren't they? Thank you so much for reading. Okay, preschoolers, it's time for us to sing goodbye. Will you please stand up so we can sing goodbye? It's time to say goodbye now. It's time to say